Hello my fellow squids and welcome back to Pokemon Glazed. Today we are going to get out of Serenity Isle once and for all because Blake is waiting for us over here at the pier. And we are going to head to the Haunted Rock or Island or some sort of haunted place, I don't remember. Oh good, you made it, Josh. It'll be a tough journey ahead. Are you ready to sail? Of course I am. You're very brave, Josh. Let's sail. I'm sailing away. What's happening? Look out, Josh. This storm is too big. Crash! Josh, are you hurt? I didn't mean for that to happen, but this storm is fierce. This boat's in pretty bad shape. Uh, <laughs> Team Fusion must be stopped, but we need our own means to leave this island. I'll see what I can do to repair our boat. Will you go after Team Fusion? Of course I will. You have spirit, Josh, that's for sure. Good luck. Ha, <laughs> spirit, since we're on a haunted island. Uh... And I find it funny how he's like, man, the boat's in such bad shape. It literally looks exactly the same as it did when we left. But I don't know, I'm not a boat expert. I'm not a boatologist or whatever the heck. Uh, a botanist? No, they study flowers. I'm not really sure who studies boats. So, Haunted Isle, and of course there's a Pokemon Center here. Poor Nurse Joy, she has to be stuck here on Haunted Isle, all alone. They built this center so explorers could rest. I'm glad they did, too. So I guess she's got uh, Mr. Hiker over there to keep her company. Uh, my Pokemon are pretty good right now, they're not in need of any healing. I sort of want to see what kind of Pokemon there are on this Haunted Isle. Looks like there's some uh, Spindas out here. I don't really need a Spinda, so I'm going to pass on that. Uh, let's see if there's anything else cool. Oh, Wingle. That is the coolest Pokemon ever, right? I mean, you almost never see Wingles. It's like, wow, oh my goodness. Wingle is like the rarest Pokemon ever in existence, ever. Wow, these are, these are some cool tiles. Sort of reminds me of... Uh, Whoa, go home, kid. Hey, I would go home, but I have to stop you fools. Oh, it's a, it's a, it's a girl. There's a girl in the castle. Oh my goodness, so she's got a Tyrogue here. Can easily take care of this with my new all-powerful Psychic. But yeah, the tiles remind me of uh, House of Hades, I believe it is, when Percy and Annabeth are stuck in they're stuck in Tartarus, and they're in the part where it's Tartarus' heart, where the doors are, and the ground is all purple and veiny. That's what it, it reminds me of. So maybe we're walking on the heart of some giant ghost or something. Do ghosts even have hearts? I'm not really sure. You dare defy Team Fusion? Well, yes, I do dare. I'm definitely not truthin', because... I don't want to reveal all my secrets. Ooh, a Haunter. You know what? I would really like to get a Haunter. Uh, I'm going to test this out, see if this Thunderbolt will knock it out. And it looks like it won't, so uh, I can't escape now, but I'm just going to put this thing to sleep. And I will be able to catch it, hopefully. So, a Haunter, yeah. And this game does have the physical special split, so that will be very useful. One? No. Why are you doing this? Haunter, get in the Pokeball. You can haunt all you want in there. I mean, there's no one in there to haunt, but you can do all the haunting you want. And I need to think of a good nickname for this thing as well. If it will ever get in the Pokeball, maybe a Premier Ball would be better. Because Haunter likes to be different. He likes to stand out from the crowd. Or she, I guess, because it's a girl. Yeah, I knew it. Haunter likes that premier ball. Alright, so a, a ghost. The gas Pokemon. <laughs> if a Haunter beckons you while it is floating in darkness, don't approach it. This Pokemon will try to lick you with its tongue and steal your life away. So it likes to lick you. Huh, I don't know. I really like Haunter, though. What should I name you? You know what, since you're a female, 
and I like Harry Potter, I am going to name you Myrtle here. Because you will be named in honor of Moaning Myrtle, who uh, haunts a toilet in the second floor of Hogwarts, I believe it is. So let's take a look at Myrtle here. She's asleep. Aw, oh, how cute. A docile nature, ghost and poison. And that special attack, though, licks, fight, mean look, and curse. So, nothing really, uh, powerful or useful yet. Uh, I wonder if it can learn any of the TMs I have, like Thunderbolt or something. I don't think it would be able to learn Earthquake, and it can learn Thunderbolt. So, yeah, let's just, like, teach Thunderbolt to half the team, because that definitely makes sense. I'll get rid of Spite, because I don't foresee that getting a whole lot of use. And, uh, might as well throw the experience share onto Myrtle here. So she can get a little cut of the pie, as it were. So there we go. And I'm not really sure how I'm going to make my way through this place with no lights. It's going to be pretty difficult. Ooh, Mistrevis. So cute, but I think I used Mistrevis for a little bit, at least in one of my other playthroughs. Advanced Adventure or something like that. And I don't remember if we got... Did we get a uh, Flash at all? Because that would be helpful. Flash, I need you to come help! Doesn't look like we did. That's unfortunate. So we're going to have to make our way through this place, uh, sort of stumbling and bumbling around. And I should have gotten some repels, but you know what? I'm pretty broke right now. I'll just follow the Team Rocket grunts. Follow the trail of grunts. Just turn around and go on, kid. Nothing for you here. Oh, I beg to differ. So, hit on, Lee! And Kazumina's just going to have a field day with all these <laughs> Team Fusion Pokemon. Seems like they have a lot of fighting types. Oh, and now your special defense falls. That's really helpful. So I'll just finish it off with a Thunderbolt there. A T-Bolt. I just can't get over how how awesome Thunderbolt's animation is in uh, these games. I don't know. I like it a lot better than in the newer games. I feel like I've said that before, but I just can't help uh, reiterating that because... I don't know. It's so simple and... Just the weird noise it makes. It's like, ch -ch -ch. see, there you go. It's simple and sort of retro, I guess, and it's sort of cool. And a Hitmon top. So you just got all of these Pokemon, huh? Uh, I sort of want to go into MS Paint, but I also don't because that might not end well. I'll just switch in for a little bit of experience there and uh, head back out to Cosmina. And, of course, you have the Pursuit. It's too bad Psychic doesn't have more PP than it does. I might have to find a PP up or whatever the heck I can get in this game. So, he's just repeating himself. He's a broken record, or a CD skipping tracks for all those youngsters out there. Uh, doesn't look like there's anything up here. It's a rock. It looks a little odd. That's not very nice. Don't make fun of the rocks. All rocks are beautiful in my eyes. Uh, so I don't think this is the right way. Ghastly. Ghastly is so funny. I think in the anime it actually had like some sort of accent or something. Uh, so that's where I was before. Is there anything this way? I'm not really sure. Okay, there's another cave this way, and this guy is sort of blocking it, so maybe that's a good sign? Or this this gal, I should say. She's got a Hitmonlee, and we can take care of that. No problemo. And a Hitmonchan. I would go out to Myrtle, but I don't think Myrtle is fully equipped to battle right now. Try out Prescott, just because Prescott hasn't been getting a whole lot of action. Uh, I'll go for the Screech, and then I can try out that Earthquake. Boom! That power! That power, though. You know, I might have to use Prescott a little bit right now. Because Prescott is in dire need of evolution. In dire need. Ooh. What is this? A Moonstone? Very nice. 
And I can't really do anything to Ghastly's, unfortunately. Hello, sir. What are we doing? I'm not the kind of person to just tell you. Well, you look like the kind of person to just tell me, because you're just a grunt. And you've got a timber, Mr. Uh, Kesha. I think it would be sort of fun to make Pokemon teams for all the celebrities. Like, if uh, Kesha had a Pokemon team, I'm sure Timber would be on it. And we've got a Machop here. Go for that Earthquake. And wow, that almost one hit KO'd. Very nice. And there we go. Machop is down for the count. One more Timber and we should be good. Yeah, that Focus Energy ain't gonna do nothing. Ain't gonna do diddly squat. We can finish it off with a quick attack there. Very nice. And they all say the same thing. Why do they have the repeating scripts? I don't like that. It doesn't add a whole lot of variety to the game. And I should probably heal up Prescott, because he's not looking too hot. I did pick up a few more super potions, so there we go. Unfortunately, I don't have any awakenings, so... I like how this guy just has, like, the thoroughly non-intimidating music. I think that's the music you get when you fight, like, the little tuber people. The YouTubers. <laughs> Man, YouTubers just makes me think of potatoes sitting at their computers and taking vlogs or whatever the heck. Oh, I don't know what's wrong with my brain today, but I'm enjoying it. You have to embrace the the thoroughly nonsensical stuff once in a while. Please just work! There we go, thank you. And I'm gonna switch out before I get beat up anymore. Let's go out to MS Paint here to fight this shroomish. I can use that Psy Beam. Go Gangnam style. It's a good thing I picked up those uh, Paralyzed Heals back for the lighthouse challenge because they're gonna come in handy now. There we go, all healed up, and I guess you don't really need one, so. Ooh, what is this? A lantern. I guess it's not the... Oh! That is very helpful, actually. I thought it was gonna be like the Pokemon, but it's like, no, it's spelled correctly. If it was the Pokemon, it would have a U, because, you know, Lantern is so hip like that. And, wait. We are now outside. Did my Lantern go off or something when I ran into that? Okay, never mind. Never mind. Let's see what else is here. I might even catch two team members here. But probably not, actually. Does this grass even have anything in it? I have a feeling it does not. Hello, sir. A hiker always helps a fellow hiker if he or she is in need. Do you want me to heal your Pokémon? Yes, sir! Thank you very much. I don't understand how you have this mystical ability to heal without machines. Teach it to me, sir! I will add it to my skills list. There's too many of us. You can't stop us! Okay, whatever. Oh, you got a fighting chicken? Well, I've got an earthquake to deal with fighting chickens such as yourself. There we go. And level 30, please, Prescott, evolve. Evolve, evolve, evolve. And a Monferno, okay. I can deal with this. Once again, the return of Monferno. I talked about Monferno movies in, like, episode 8 or something. And now this is the sequel. Myrtle is trying to learn Nightshade. Uh, that could be useful. I'll get rid of Lick, because Lick isn't really going to do much. Oh yeah, so Myrtle is awake now, actually. I could probably put her out to do a little bit of battling. So why don't I do that? And that way, Myrtle can just show everyone what's up. And yeah, we're not gonna fight Mistrevis. I really love Haunter's sprite in this game. I don't know, it's just something about the sprites that I really like. Not that the 3D uh, models aren't cool, because they are pretty cool, and I like the little animations they do, but there's something about this sprite that just has a little bit of charm to it, and I don't know. Perhaps I'm just crazy, but I don't know. I like the sprites. 
And I sort of miss them. Maybe you're not a sprite kind of guy or gal. Maybe you're a more of a 7-up kind of person. I don't know. And why do I always get paralyzed? I'm, I'm not enjoying this. There we go. You are down, and that was a lot of experience, actually. I'm gonna go back and heal really quick. Because that hiker oh so kindly just offered to heal up our Pokemon, so why not take him up on that offer? There we go. Once again, we are ready to go. So this is a pretty big place, actually. And, oh boy, more grunts. Show this guy what's up. Thunderbolt, my my baby there. Baby, baby haunter. It's so dark, I can't see. <laughs> it's too dark, I can't hear you. Oh man. So Hitmonlee, I don't think he can do much to a haunter actually. So let's just nightshade it a couple times. And of course, the jump kick does not phase me does not phase me because I am amazing hitting everybody with my nightshade yeah Haunter is throwing all the shade and agility yeah you gotta go fast gotta go fast but going fast doesn't make you able to hit a ghost there we go Myrtle is just tearing everything up so I think Cosmina would be best suited to a hit him on top since I am not affected by the Intimidite. And I just keep saying that ever since uh, I got that from the Killer Nacho Intimidite. I sort of miss the Killer Nacho. I haven't watched him in a while. He does pretty good uh, competitive battling and he is pretty entertaining to watch. Even though I'm not much of a I'm not actually much of a competitive battler. I've never been really good at all the strategy stuff, so yeah. There we go, we actually <laughs> outsped it since we're both paralyzed. Wait, I sense there might be a hidden. Oh, never mind. I was wrong. My senses were, I guess, fooled by that. Suspicious looking rock. I'm gonna go out to Cosmina here to deal with this girder. Herder, the girder. Girder is like one of the <laughs> derpiest names out there. Man, and Myrtle is already tearing things up. Look at. Did you see that special attack? My word. My word. Almost as many words as Merriam Webster's dictionary. Oh, you can run into things out here, but it looks like it's just more ghastlies, unfortunately. Oh, so, another guy who heals you up. Very nice. Very nice. I'm enjoying all this attention. Ooh, Dragon Claw. Hmm. I don't think anyone can learn that, but let me see. Nope, no one can learn it. No one has claws like a dragon. Although I was thinking about getting a, a bag on back there. Oh no, it's you! It's you, so you're behind all this. I see, I see. <laughs> expecting someone else. Uh, I was expecting a ghost, but you are not a ghost. You're obviously still alive and corporeal. You came all this way expecting a battle with Team Fusion. But all that's here is me. I just love seeing your dreams crushed. <laughs> oh my goodness. I have a teacher who says that. Crushing hopes and dreams, one student at a time. Come on, let's battle so I can see you lose. Uh, Pikachu, you forgot an apostrophe on let's, but you know. Whatever. So, is this our third encounter with Hipster Pikachu? I think it is. So, Myrtle, we gotta show him what's up. Uh, we are going to give this thing a curse, just cause... <laughs> gonna hammer a nail into the side of our mouth. Like Frankenstein or whatever. Oh, I guess that's in his... Frankenstein's monster, that is. I've actually read the book Frankenstein, so... 
I can't make that mistake now and say Frankenstein when I'm actually talking about the monster, because Frankenstein is the dude. Please don't kill me. Ha, that didn't do very much. Yeah, that was a... That was an interesting book. Sort of hard to read just because of the old-timey language, but I enjoyed it. Oh, now you're pulling out the Thunderbolt, so my ghost will die a second time. That's unfortunate. Sorry, Myrtle. I have to go haunt another toilet. Throw MS Paint out there. And I have Lightning Rod now, so that'll divert all electric attacks to me, I guess. But it doesn't matter, since Pikachu is dead! Heh, <laughs> I lost again. This loss will make me determined to be you next time. However, I still wish to see you lose. Take this. The Delucifier. That sounds fancy. wonder what it does. My superiors are in a cave blocked by Zoroark's illusions. Use that to see through the illusion and reach them. I wasn't able to beat you, but they will. Farewell. Alright, so we have a Delucifier now. Uh, maybe that has something to do with those odd rocks we saw earlier, but in any case, uh, this has been a pretty lengthy episode, and we accomplished a lot here on this, uh, haunted rock, so next time we are going to be using that Delucifier to hopefully find out where Pikachu's superiors are and see if they have even more fabulous scarves than he does. I will see you all next time. Peace out, everybody.